Good afternoon and welcome to Super Sound Showcase here on FM 93.5 The Berg and WMBG AM 740. We are sponsored by Culture Fix and I am your host, Robert Hodge. Today our guests is a new group that has only been in existence for about eight months. They are called Two If By C. Yes. Um, so I'd like to welcome Nadia Kaz and Timothy Colson. Welcome. Hi. Hey, how's it going? Thanks for Good. having us. Good. I'm intrigued by the name. Um, <laughs> is there a connection to Paul Revere somehow? What, what, what's going on here? It's going to be a really boring story. <laughs> here, okay. Go ahead. Um, really, we just spent a lot of time trying to, to come up with a name that had encompassed uh, two in it, just so that people would know that <laughs> we were a duo. Just no mistakes. It's oh. just the two of us. So uh, <laughs> for after, after much deliberation, we just thought that that was appropriate. Um, but you know, it goes well with the area. We're all mm -hmm. on a peninsula. We've got the coastal vibe going to if by sea, the history, Paul Revere. So it all fits. Um, <laughs> you so just kinda, made that up. We, did, we yeah, didn't I think did. about we Paul didn't Revere. Think about it. <laughs> but, but now in, in context of that story, the if word actually makes me wonder, are there other options that you might arrive by some other means or what, what <laughs> I mean, to if by sea. If by sea, we could arrive by but boat, to by plane, by, by tree. Or yeah. We try to avoid Greyhound. Yeah. Most we try time. to just take my car. Okay. <laughs> so two if by car. Yeah. Sometimes. Usually. All right. Well, I understand now. And <laughs> and while we're on the subject uh, of arrivals and stuff, where might people find this exciting duo? Where where are you performing oh these days? We play around um, Hampton Roads everywhere. But uh, tonight we're actually going to be at Riff House Pub in Chesapeake, right on the border of like Norfolk and Chesapeake. And um, this Saturday, we are playing at a luau that is open to the public on Yorktown Beach for Chef K. Oh, that sounds fun. Yes. So, so it's an actual luau? It's, you're supposed to wear grass skirts and, like, coconut bras. So, well, you can wear whatever you want. But. And will we find you in a coconut bra and <laughs> uh, a grass skirt? You'll just have to go and find out. What about you, Timothy? I'll be, I will <laughs> be wearing one. Absolutely. <laughs> He actually, you, you have to. You, oh my I don't goodness. know if you can not do that now. All right, so we're already established that you're out of the box. That's really nice. <laughs> and, uh, I, you know, I'm not to continue to split hairs, but you said you play all over Hampton Roads. But after the, the conversation about the sea, it makes me wonder <laughs> if you actually play in Hampton Marinas. We want to. Yeah? We you would. Know, that, that Oyster Cove would be a great place for you. Yes. Yeah. I've actually been, like, scouting places that are just, like, on the water because I like being by the water. And I yeah. feel like we both... I there mean, if you live in this area, you probably enjoy being on the water. And so I've been looking for like restaurants and places that are mm -hmm. really nice kind of view of whatever, river, ocean. We don't mind. Mm -hmm. We're not picky. Glass of water. A yeah. puddle. That works too. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's cool. Now, how do we describe your music? Oh, my goodness. That do you have a, a great do you have, question. Do you have uh, adjectives that you throw out there to people? Yeah, it's a pretty eclectic mix. It's a lot of a variety of a lot of things. Um, I'd say a lot of soul, blues, and Motown. Okay. With like a dash of folk in there. Yeah, we say soul folk. That's okay. what we try to use to describe it, kind of. Soul folk. Soul okay. folk. Interesting. That could mean so many things. I know. Delightfully ambiguous. <laughs> All right, so that's cool. And and you are creating music now. You're writing. Mm -hmm. And uh, how is the balance of that? Are one of you writing a little more than the other, or <laughs> no, you're writing actually, equally, or I what's think happening? We, I think when we got when we first started playing together, we realized that we both had a lot of songs that were like partly done, uh -huh. and then we kind of brought them. A few of them we're still working on it. Um, we brought a few of them together and like turned them into our own songs. Um, so I think it's pretty equal writing. It's just about uh, now that we've played together so many times, I feel like mm -hmm. we kind of know like what the other one's style is when we put a song together. Yeah. It's almost like, oh, I know like where it's going to go. And we always like harmonies, stuff like that, mainly like adding harmonies to any mm -hmm. song is good. So now you, Natalie, uh, Natalie, I, 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 always <laughs> I, knew was I always do this. <laughs> it's okay. No, you know what, Nadia? I know your name, but the, the thing here's the question: You've been the front person for so many bands, yes. and you're doing a lot of harmony in this situation. Yes, um, is that a luxury or a new trick? What, what, what do you? How do you feel about this? this I new like incarnation? it. I, I personally uh -huh. really, I think Timothy is a superior singer, and he should be singing a lot more. I believe so. I and I like doing harmonies it's i'm actually for me i'm more comfortable doing that mm -hmm. um i'm not uncomfortable 
singing. Right. But well, and you know that there was a, another incarnation of a group that I saw. Um, remember one time I, I asked you about doing some of the gypsy guitar stuff you did. Yeah. And you told me that actually you could only do that with a partner. So right. it was interesting. I, I had totally even phased out on the idea that that wasn't solo that night because right. it was compelling. But I do like you in partnership a mm -hmm. lot with, with yes. the various styles that you've, you've embraced. I like uh, it with better those too. Partnerships and that that is very interesting. Timothy, have you had experience as a duo before? Or what, what's um, your background? I I have. I've had a little bit of experience as a duo. So I I started playing in like a progressive rock band in the mm -hmm. area. It was a three piece called Jet Fighter Kaleidoscope way back, mm -hmm. and uh, we played. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know it's a ridiculous <laughs> name. We played a uh, played a lot of gigs over on this side. Uh, did a bunch of things, and then we ended up splitting. I moved to Florida. So when I moved down there, I got mm -hmm. contracted as a songwriter. Okay. Uh, for a label called AMS that's based out of Mississippi. And it was just me and another guy just hashing out tunes and playing. <laughs> so it was, it was kind of similar to this. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, that's interesting. And and how did you actually find each other? How did this come do? How did this do all evolve? <laughs> it was just meant to be, Robert. <laughs> okay. Uh, we met at Aroma's Open Mic, I believe, in Newport News. Was that's that, interesting. That's okay. the first time that we ever played together because I was playing some... Right chord progressions outside and he was like oh that's interesting it was like mm -hmm. it was just kind of a jazzy yeah. thing that well and i think taught people me. sometimes realize that those kind of events and the coffee houses and open mics can sometimes yield these connections mm -hmm. that, that yes. come about musically that might not otherwise have have found each other were right. it not for the open culture of those open mics mm -hmm. and things right hmm so speaking of which you mm -hmm. host an open mic i do it's every Wednesday at Capricio Restaurant in Newtown, mm -hmm. and it's at 8.30 to 11.30. Okay. So if anyone wants to play and right. showcase their talent, then come out And the that. moral of the story, if you aspire to be a duo, you might find your duet partner yes. uh, in the midst of an open mic. Right. I think it's that possible. happens a lot, actually. So uh, yes, it's a very good place to find other musicians that if you are yeah. wanting to jam or play and with And a people. good place to, to really question mm -hmm. what it is that you're doing and if you're on right. the right track and if you have the talent to really be a performer they will tell you very quickly in an open mic most of the time <laughs> yeah. now and and the other side of that that i want to know about um you as a musician become stronger and stronger when you're faced with backing up artists that you have no rehearsal mm -hmm. and no idea of what they're about to do and sometimes it's great and sometimes it's not so perfect but yeah. you know you have uh, the charge to really step in there and make everyone sound as good as they can. So how does that affect you as a musician? How do you grow into that? I want to hear Timothy answer this because uh -oh. he plays some like amazing like jazz stuff at open mics and sometimes it's hard like mm -hmm. I feel like people get better when they play with him because the chord changes are crazy. And right. You answer this. <laughs> My reputation precedes me. I'm not that. Yeah, but, it's not that crazy. But, but, but I mean, do you find that it pushes you forward by having that weekly experience of having to really back up everyone. I don't, actually. No? I don't. No advantage at all? <laughs> Not at all, no. Um, I view, man, I view open mics, and this isn't, a lot of people get this misconstrued, and I feel like especially local musicians take this as um, kind of like a cynical view on open mics, and uh -huh. it's not, but I'd, I'd been at Aromas when I first started playing guitar in like 2009, 2010, when I graduated uh -huh. high school. Then it was hosted by uh, Mr. Tony Mata, he's a killer jazz sure. guitarist in the yeah. area. So um, a lot of great musicians kind of gravitated to that place. It was more of like a stomping grounds back uh -huh. then. So, I, you know, I got what I could out of it, played with a lot of people mm -hmm. and did grow. But mm -hmm. at a certain point... But, but I'm talking about from the, the standpoint of being involved as hosting now and backing up other people. Oh, yeah, that, that definitely helps. It gets you out there and, and playing different... Um, exposed to different genres mm -hmm. of music that you might not even check out just because that person wants to play a tune. So mm -hmm. you might not listen to blues and someone's like, hey, I want to do these three blues tunes. Can you right. play these chords? And then you get up there. So it does help um, in that respect if you're backing people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I usually just go to listen, though, if I'm, if I'm hanging out. Oh, so you're not involved in No, I'll go to hers from time to time. Yeah, um, actually, yeah, he does. he's in Newport News, so he's not usually at that open mic. Mm -hmm. um, and at this point, we'll just kind of, we play so much that we're like not at a lot of open mics, but. Um, All right. So, what kind of music are you going to bring us today? The good kind. <laughs> Some good stuff. It's all original. Um, I, it's kind of hard to categorize it into a genre. Um, well, tell, the, tell us about the pieces and what you've written. Sure. So we've got three three pieces today, three songs. Uh, two of them have vocals, and one is instrumental. Uh, the two with vocals, we're doing 86 and 
the other one? <laughs> the <laughs> waves. waves. Okay, so 86 was, um, I wrote that one and, and we kind of brought it together and worked on it. And that one's more just about um, being lackadaisical in your youth, youth kind of carefree, uh, okay. having the luxury to be able to, to go out and do whatever you want, not really worry about it and just have fun, okay. essentially. Uh, the other one, Waves, is that one we kind of wrote together as well. And that one's more along the lines of, uh, it's more of a relatable tune in the sense of it's just about having someone that you can depend on. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, someone that uh, you would do a lot of things for uh, just to have their support or just to have uh, them by And is you. one of those the instrumental piece? or No, that one, they're, they're that's one vocals. of the one. And right. what's the name of the intr- instrumental piece you brought? Western Omelette. Okay. It's called Western Omelette. <laughs> because it has like kind of like a, a western feel to it. Okay. It actually came about uh, when we were playing a gig at where were we? Los was, Cabos. Was it? Yeah. yeah in yeah. Hampton. Okay. And um, the architecture of that place was kind of like had a very interesting feel, and it kind of like inspired the songs. All the, right. That well, song. You will hear it for yourself <laughs> very soon, and you'll be able to determine so whether big. or not there's any correlation whatsoever to cracked eggs. And we will, <laughs> we will get this together. After these messages, and of course, we will remain live on uh, uh, our streaming media on the Facebook page for WMBG Radio. And you can stay with us and see what happens in the break. And we will join our radio friends after this. You're listening to Super Sound Showcase, sponsored by Culture Fix on FM 93.5 The Berg and W. WMBG AM 740. We'll be right back. And we are back. This is Super Sound Showcase. And this is FM 93.5 The Bergen WMBG AM 740. We are sponsored by our friends at Culture Fix. And today we are talking with Nadia Kaz and Timothy Colson. They are two if by C. Mm-hmm. And if you are just joining us, they have uh, brought us three original tunes that they're going to be performing. One instrumental, two with vocals. And I'm looking forward to hearing this. This is a, a new group, relatively. They've been together eight months. And this is something that uh, has created creative sort of a an interesting mix of, of their individual sound as artists and they've combined for a whole new product so what's the first song the first one is called 86 mm-hmm. um, and, <laughs> and wh- why 86 uh so 86 man um <laughs> it's <laughs> it's funny have you, ever, mean, have you ever worked a serving job anybody here ever i have a but serving we, gig? i was okay. getting ready to say i know that if they run out of the special you're out you 86 of it. it that's right so you, you were out, out of things when you i was this? out of something when i wrote this yes <laughs> okay. interesting and do do we not know what you were missing at that point or it's, no it's a mystery were you, how old were you when you wrote it uh probably like 20 Oh, of course, that's five. relative because I don't know how old you are now. I'm 27. Okay, now. so three years yeah. ago well, you were missing yeah. something, years. and here's a celebration of it in music. Here it is. All right, let's have it. One, two, three, four. Wait, where are you playing? You the play? song? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the beauty of live radio is that we're going to do take two. D. You got it? All that's right. where I'm at. <laughs> car in the middle of the day hold your breath until the moon comes into place cough cough hit the dashboard the stars never look so bright in up we're high above the clouds We'll kick and scream once we start to reach the ground. I'm feeling thin, I got no care for destination. Grind my problems and inhale my obligations Call, call, no more blues Neon signs never looked so bright In up, we're high above the clouds 
We'll kick and scream once we start to reach the ground. Catchy song, and you know I like your your vocal style. is is very nice. It's Thank very you. easy. It's very relaxed. Um, what what do you what do you think of when you sing? What do I think of? Yeah, what goes through your mind? Just getting by. <laughs> um, yeah. I'm primarily a guitarist. Um, I did start singing first, but almost out of like necessity because the band I was in, no one wanted to right. sing, so mm -hmm. I had to do it. Um, but even in that respect, that's why I just I prefer to play guitar. But uh -huh. in this. It fits if I do vocals sometimes, so we uh -huh. do. Okay. So yeah, most of the time it's just me getting through it. Okay. What's, up? What's next? Next is the instrumental tune called Western Omelet. Okay. We're gonna make. We're gonna tune up real quick. Is that okay? Does this have green peppers in it? Absolutely. Yes. <laughs> it has only vegetables. I don't eat meat. So. Yeah, no. he's a vegetarian. So. Okay. Fair enough. Shout out to Ruth Ann, our own Ruth Ann McDermott, Red vegetarian. resident vegan. Oh, wow. Yeah. She's very disciplined. We like that. All right. All right, cool. So, yeah, this is called Western Omelet. Thank you. 
Mm. That's interesting because I noticed you were cooking that omelet with butter instead of the spray <laughs> in the pan. That's what we use. <laughs> we, yes. we use a lot of butter. You need a lot of butter. <laughs> All right. Well, that's catchy. I like getting some very fancy guitar work going oh, on over there. Oh, thank you very you, much. Actually. I appreciate it. And uh, you do work well as a team to have not been together any longer than you have. That's really yeah, thank you. interesting. You do seem to anticipate each other in a nice way. Yeah. Yeah. I think so, too. Yeah. I really you, like it. You've already found a place where you believe you can count on each other. Yes. That's, it's dependable. I think so, yeah. That's nice. Nice. Because, you know, that is the tricky part of a duet when there's just two of you. It is, yeah. You know, you got to make sure you both are headed in the same direction. That's right. That's true. Right. And I think, yeah, that happened pretty quickly. And it's good to, it makes you feel more comfortable when mm -hmm. you're playing. Definitely. Right. And so here we are at that spot where it's always the, hard to believe that the third song is upon <laughs> us. But wow. uh, only the one remaining. So what is this? So this is one called Waves, um, and mm -hmm. this is the one I was uh, we were referring to earlier. Mm -hmm. um, it's just about uh, being there, having someone okay. being there for you, and, yeah. and appreciating that. And, and I, uh, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, that this was actually officially named during the soundtrack. Yes, it was. <laughs> <And> so, <laughs> not even 30 minutes ago. <laughs> so that, that name has come about today. It is, of course, uh, brand new music from Two of Pisces, where uh, they, they can find you tonight in Chesapeake if anybody's out ro roving, right? Where, yes, where are you going right. to be? Riff House Pub mm -hmm. on Bainbridge Drive. Okay, well that sounds fun. I don't know that anybody will be out in Chesapeake, but they might be. <laughs> they might be. Probably I'm not. not sure, but uh, I I will not be there. But perhaps I'll see you very soon uh, in Williamsburg because you are frequently in the area. Yes. And, uh, and you can always catch Nadia and Timothy over at Capriccio as well. And that is uh, an Italian restaurant over in Newtown um, with quite good food the last time I was there, but I haven't been there for a while. So anyway, um, all right, here's the last song. Cool. Right. To If By Sea. <laughs> treacherous seas just to have you here by my side fire and lightning and all in between just so I can call you mine tread through the waters and treacherous seas just to have you here by my side fire and lightning and all in between just so I can call you mine Fallen trees, stain the scenery When you call me right Shouldn't breeze, got the best of me Days disappeared and tonight Fallen trees, stain the scenery When you call me right Autumn leaves got the best of me Days disappeared and tonight Tread through the waters and treacherous seas Just to have you here by my side Fire and lightning and all in between just so I can call you mine Tread through the waters and treacherous seas Just to have you here by my side Fire and lightning and all in between Just so I can call you mine Nervous waves crashing into me When you call me right Ocean breeze got the best of me. Days disappeared and tonight. Nervous waves crashing into me when you called me right. Setting sun, sands that comfort me. Days disappeared and tonight. Tread through the waters and treacherous seas 
just to have you here by my side Fire, lightning, and all in between Just so I can call you mine Tread through the waters and treacherous seas Just to have you here by my side Fire and lightning and all in between Just so I can call you mine Just so I can call you mine Just so I can call you mine I like that, that's kitschy Who was it written about? Undisclosed <laughs> <laughs> Not to be named at this moment Do you think they know? Probably Okay. Probably. <laughs> Fair enough. I like to know the history of songs all the time. Yeah. So this has been a good time. This is Two If I See. It's been a pleasure to have you all here. And Thanks for uh, where, us. where can they find you online? You have an online presence? Yes. On Facebook, um, you can look up Two If I See or Facebook slash Tibbs757, <laughs> which is the acronym of Two If I See. 757. Cool. Yes. To make okay. it easier. And when they look for two if by C, it's spelled out or it's not? Yes, T W O if by C, and it'll come up on Facebook. Okay, well, yes. this has been a good time. And we thank our friends at Culture Fix, Steve and Shirley and Jen, and thank you so much for your sponsorship. And thank you for the listeners that come back every week to hear what local music is doing and what live music is out there and about. And I love the opportunity to bring that to you every week. Mm -hmm. I'm your host, Robert Hodge, and this has been Super Sound Showcase for the 15th of August, 2019. So thank you for being here. We'll be back next week with all new music. And we go back to the music that you love. Here's the spinners with games people play. <laughs>